What is going on everybody and in this video we will be taking a look at the Ford Focus RS RX Glow Motorsport ED which is a very long name. If you're wondering this is the level 49 vehicle in the motor pass here so this is free if you have level 49 you can get it. You still have over a month when I was recording this video to get this thing so I definitely go after it because it definitely looks like a pretty dope car considering we do now have three uh, RS vehicles in the game. We have this one which is a pretty good car but honestly I do like the Fiesta better than that one. And then we also have the old Ford Focus RS as well, which personally I don't really use that car, but the Fiesta is more of my go-to in this class. I'm hoping this car can change that, but I guess we're going to find out soon. So let's go see if we can customize this. So as you guys can see, it's pretty normal for a lot of the Motor Pass vehicles to will not be customized that much. I noticed the visual parts never really can be changed on these. But looking at the car, you can clearly see that it is pretty customized already. I mean, it has a front spoiler, a rear spoiler, side spoiler, uh, kind of. And then we also have like the colors here as well, official colors or whatever you guys want to put on there. These are the Ubisoft colors. They can pretty much go on any vehicle in the game, I noticed. And then we have the liveries you can also change if you're not feeling the one that's on the car currently, which obviously that one looks freaking awesome. Kudos these guys actually making these liveries. They do such a great job. And honestly, just for this, I'm going to throw on the Ken Block livery here. Shout out to this dude for making this. Uh, Shimbo there, great job on that livery. Um, they look freaking awesome. And then besides that, you could throw uh, the vanity items on here, which personally I'll probably leave everything just regular on there. Anyway, guys, let's go take this thing into two different races to see how it does. So, guys, I figured I'd jump into a race that's kind of long and then one that's on the track, see how this thing does on both. So, as you guys see here, the interior view, um, well, there's not much to the car here, as you can see. Uh, going out view here, though, the car does look pretty dope. So, let's see what this thing can do for speed. So, I noticed a lot of the rallycross vehicles do around 180. Uh, do keep in mind, I was doing 200 there, but I was slipstreaming uh, some of these racers here, which could have a big difference there. The build I'm currently running on the car seems to be doing pretty dang well overall, honestly, guys. Um, I'll, it's pretty similar to the actual uh, RS build itself, with a little bit of tweaks, but I noticed it pretty much does a great job as well. So let's see how this thing now drives down this hill, not in front of all these crazy NPC drivers. Um, especially on Ace, they just honestly forget what they're doing and just try to kill you. I'm very interested to see if there's a car that can compete with some of the other really good rallycross vehicles like the Escalade. That thing is just so freaking fast. Like, it's honestly hard to even compete with that one. There's a no restriction race. That is literally what I'm driving uh, in the summits and stuff like that. And I'd like to have another vehicle I can use. The only issue is I like having a car everybody can use. That's why I don't really post the motor uh, pass vehicles, honestly, because I feel like they're not really the fairest thing out there. Um, this car looks like it's doing around 180 as well, which is pretty average for a lot of the uh, rallycross vehicles. I was doing 200 there, but that's because I was slipstreaming, which I don't really consider that the true speed of the vehicle there. So this race is pretty common. Uh, it's been in multiple summits actually in the past. I figured I'd see how the car does in something like this with handling because honestly it's a great test for it. And so far guys, I'm honestly pretty impressed. I mean, this thing's handling pretty well for what it is. Uh, I thought it was going to do good honestly by just looking at it. Because I know the other Ford Focus RS has insanely good handling with the right build on it. Um, the only thing it lacks is its speed, and watch out, Bear. Um, it, it does slack a little bit in its speed, which I have noticed, which is kind of unfortunate, uh, especially compared to the other uh, Rallycross vehicles. But the, when it comes to handling, that car can just turn on a dime, and it feels so smooth, it's insane. This car seems very similar to that, which I have noticed. I'm interested to see how it does in an actual like uh, track race, though, because those races can be kind of interesting sometimes. But they're a tight handling and all that. But overall, guys, this car is doing a pretty dang good job so far. Um, I mean, I'm honestly pretty impressed with it. The handling is very nice on it. It's got great speed. Overall, seems like a car I would definitely go after. Now, if you, like I said, if you do want this vehicle, all you got to do is hit level 49 in the pass because it is free. Uh, try to work on the weekly challenge videos. Those might be your best bet there for that. Um, they level up very fast. And overall, guys, that is the race right there. I'm going to jump into a track race right now. Um, overall, guys, I'm pretty impressed. The car actually did pretty dang well for what it is. Um, and it looks great too, so I mean it's a cool looking vehicle and it's quick, so let's go see how it does on a track. Alright guys, jumping right into the track race here, I figured I would do this as well because I feel like it's a good way to test the car out, especially on some of these tracks because uh, I know a lot of the summits have been having these track races recently, so I'm interested to see how some of these cars will do in them. Uh, overall, this car does seem pretty dang good honestly, um, and it's free, so if you hit level 49, you can go pick this thing up, you automatically get in your inventory, you got to look for it. Um, I I'm, I'm liking it so far, it seems quick, uh, the handling seems pretty good. Brakes seem pretty good after I run right into a wall there. Let's see how it does on one of the tight turns here. So not too bad. Brakes uh, stop me pretty quick there so I can actually get around that turn. Uh, car handles very well. Obviously it is all-wheel drive, which will help it. I'd say most of the rally vehicles probably are. So Nitro Chem seems to help the car a good amount as well there. It doesn't look like it has any struggles with speed. 
turns seem pretty good. I mean, overall, it seems like it's doing a pretty good job overall on both races. Um, I don't think I can say overall one more time, could I? But uh, regardless, guys, I think it's a pretty good vehicle for the most part. Um, it did good on the other race, so that race can be a little tricky sometimes. I noticed that one was in multiple summits before. Um, very competitive race there, the one that I just did. And honestly, a lot of the Dallas races seem to show up in summits too, like the one that is currently active right now. So seeing some of these races show up wouldn't be a bad way to like practice on them and stuff like that. I noticed Rally Cars have been making more of a comeback, which is cool because we I like having a mix of races in the summits. I think it makes it more fun. Uh, that's why having a good go-to vehicle in each class can be very important because if there's a mix of each you know, class in these summits, at least you have a good vehicle in each class you can run to to try to get your best time. And this car could definitely be part of that, I would say. Um, overall, it definitely, you know, is up there with, you know, a lot of my favorite vehicles. Would I drive this all the time? I think, honestly, I would. Yeah, I think I would. I really do. I think this might be actually be a pretty decent car to uh, race around in. Um, would I drive it over the Cadillac? That I'd have to do more testing on, because that truck is just freaking ridiculous, honestly. And if you guys have not checked that thing out yet, definitely check out the Escalade Enforcer unit. You will definitely not go wrong on that purchase there. Um, but this car is pretty dope, guys. And honestly, most people probably have the pass, so working toward this vehicle is uh, probably going to be worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll show you my settings right now on this Ford right now that I think are actually pretty dang good. Definitely check out these settings as well for your car. And here are the settings I'm running on my Ford Focus RS RX Glow Motorsport ED.